classmates it's your girl Brittany I'm back at it again with another video okay hope you guys had a great new year because guess what it's 2020 okay so your girl's gonna be having brand new videos for you guys I'm not sure on the schedule just yet because your girl gonna be booked and busy in 2020 okay it's a bag to get and sis is gonna get the bag best to believe it okay first things first let's get into the pledge i pledge to uplift my fellow sister i pledge to remain fuckboy and drama free at all times now if you slipped up in 2019 make sure you live by that in 2020 okay <laughs> okay and the topic of discussion for today will be i think this is a pretty good one i think we all gonna enjoy this one and it is signs that he is husband material. You hear me? Husband material. Okay? So that way in 2020, it's no frugazy. We won't be confused. We'll know our husband when we see him. Okay? <laughs> okay, I think it's about nine or ten signs. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first sign is he accepts you. Okay? And what I mean by he accepts you is you can be just corny and just loud and it's all different types of women there's some that's quiet there's some that's loud there's some that is some that is bougie ghetto it doesn't matter some people see certain characteristics as a flaw but guess what your husband won't he will accept you no matter what your personality is like if you're corny he's gonna laugh at your corny jokes if you're violent well hopefully you're not violent like that but if you loud, you know, he won't be like, you know, calm down, hush, like you embarrassing us. Like, no, he, he you his woman. Like, he gonna just accept you for who you are. He's not gonna wanna change you. He's not gonna wanna be like, hey, you know, can you not do this? Can you not post that? Can you not, you know, go around that person? Can you, can you not dress like that? He's gonna accept you for exactly who you are and he's gonna love you for that. So make sure if you find somebody that's trying to change you, they're not husband material. They're definitely not hurt your husband because your husband is going to love you for exactly for who you are. Okay, queen? <laughs> okay, and sign number two. He spends money and he spends time with you. Okay? That is a for sure sign to know that that man is your husband. Now, sometimes, you know, you might have the players and they do that as well. But I do know one thing about a man um, what he values, he put his time and his money into it. Imagine that old dusty car, that old school car that he been trying to get up. I mean, he spent hours trying to work on that car. He spends buku money on that car because he loves that car. So he's going to invest in that car. So whenever you meet a man and he's husband material, he's going to invest in you. Not only financially, but he's going to invest his time. Like if you say, hey, babe, you know, let's go this way this weekend. Let's, you know, can we go? Can we do this? Can you take me to this nice restaurant? He not going to be like, oh, you know, I'm working this weekend. Uh, what about next? I'm working next weekend. It's always he's working or he don't have time. He got to take care of the kids. No, husband material is going to be like, okay, let me move some things around. We can go. Okay. And then if they can't go, you're like, okay. Let me move some things around. Can, and we can't go this weekend, babe. Can we go next weekend? He's always going to find time for you. More than likely, if it's your husband, you're going to have to try to find the time because he's going to constantly want to spend time with you. He's going to constantly be like, oh, can we go here? Can we go there? And you're trying to you're trying to juggle your time. So definitely know that. That if that's your husband, he's going to be wanting to spend so much time with you. It may be times when you have to be like, look. I, I work, you know, this amount of time. I got kids. I, I, I'm trying to find the time now, you know, so definitely know that. And then you may have that thing where, you know, your car needs to be fixed or you short on something and he helps out. He's like, hey, you know, I can help you with that. You know, he, he offers to help you. Just know, baby, that's hustle material because nine, nine times out of ten, it's hard to find a man that's willing to help a woman or fill in where he feels like she needs help. It's hard to find that man that does that. You know, sometimes you tell a man, oh, I got to take care of this, this. They be like, oh, okay, I feel sorry for you or whatever. They ignore you. But then you find that husband and he wants to just invest in you and help you and all of that because he sees a future with you because he thinks like this is my future so 
when she's down or if I can help her, if there's a void, I'm going to feel it. So just know that's us with material sis, period. Okay. Number three sign is he shows you off. Okay, I'm talking about not only in person, but on social media, around his family, everywhere. He's never afraid to say, oh, you know, you can't come here with me. It's no spot you can't go. He, he want to show his queen off every chance he get. You on his his Instagram, his Facebook, or you or whatever. Okay, it's, it's not, oh, you know, let's be secret. Let's just, you know, let's just down, you know, we cool. I don't want nobody to be in my business, knowing who I'm dating. You know, I have people out looking for me, stuff like that, sis. If this man shows you off, he never hides you. And I'm not talking about, like, if y'all been dating a month or less than six months, stuff like that. Or sometimes even less than a year. But, hey, at some point, if they just... If they like this social media person where they got to post every little thing they do, it's probably it's not going to even take six months if this man sees you as his wife. Probably less than six months. But, of course, not like two weeks or a month out because then that's kind of crazy to me anyway. But, you know, let's say you guys are solid. Y'all say y'all are committed. Y'all are in a committed relationship. You guys are exclusive. And, you know, uh, I'm just like a year passed by or something. Like, this person's not posting you. You know we're on their page, social media. That's a red flag. So just know, if he shows you off and he's happy to have you on his arm, baby, that's a husband. <laughs> Do not get it twisted. And the next sign is, which is our fourth sign, he prays with you. And when I say prays with you, like, um, you would invite him to church. He goes to church with you. He accepts that invitation. When you guys are out or suppose you go to his place or he comes to yours and you guys pray before you eat. He said, hey, babe, let, let's pray before we eat. Like, come on, you're going you gonna to eat your food and I pray. That is husband material not saying that players don't do that too but with it, all these signs i'm gonna give you if this guy does that baby he's definitely husband material okay he prays with you he wants to go to church with you that means that he believes that there needs to be a solid foundation with everything that he does so you better believe that is a husband okay and the number five sign is he protects and he cares about you sis like, he's not going to let anyone hurt you. Like, he's your Superman, your Hercules, okay? Like, if there's somebody that's talking bad about you, he's coming to your defense. He's It could be mama, sister, boys, brother. He protects you, and he defends your honor, even when you're not around. So just know that is definitely a husband. And not to be petty, but I love, like, on some nights, like, if I go out or if I'm out late, and, you know, this is my dude. Like, I just love when a guy say, you know, call me when you make it home. Or if I have a long drive and he's like, um, talk, call me on your drive so, you know, I can keep you busy. I don't want you to fall asleep. Or it can be like, you know, it could be raining outside when I, when I get off from work. And he's like, oh, the weather is so bad. Please call me when you make it home. Or when he knows I'm home, he'll say like, did you make it home? I know it's raining outside. Just stuff like that. That means that he cares about you. He cares about your safety. If you have children, he asks about your kids, asks how their, their day was, just things like that. That's definitely a husband, somebody that just cares about you and he protects you. Just know, sis, that is a husband, okay? The next one is he's a man of his word. If he says he's going to do something, you best believe he's going to do it. So you don't have to remind him, say, hey, you remember you said you were going to do this? Or, you know, I'm just reminding, you don't have to remi remind your husband. You don't have to remind a real man. Because if he says he's going to do it, you best believe he's going to change some ties. He's going to bring you lunch. If he, if he said he's going to do it, baby, he's going to do it. If he said he's going to pay for this, he's going to pay it. You ain't got to say, hey, um, remember the deadline? He's going to remember. So just know, sis. Don't remind him. Sit back and watch. And if he forgets, notate that because that's definitely not husband material. But if he on his game and you ain't got to remind him, checklist, <laughs> baby, that's husband material, okay? The next one is he has great character. Now, that goes along with him being a man of his word, okay? When I say great character, like, 
he doesn't lie. You know, you don't, you don't catch him in lies. He tells the truth. He's, he just, he respects you. He doesn't disrespect you. I mean, so long as a potty mouth. Oh my God. I, me, sometimes they can't stand a woman that curses a lot. I can't stand a man that's just constantly cursing. Like he has great character. He goes to church or he believes in God. He's trying to build that relationship. He takes care of his kids. He has a good rapport with his mom. He respects her, his sisters. You know, he's just this all around nice, good person. He makes a decent, honest living. Like just, just things like that where he just, he's high in character. You know, he works hard. All that stuff is just to be so commended. So make sure when you find a man that has good character, you better, you better best believe that that's definitely a husband, okay? That's, that's, that's just deep. And not, and not only that, just like just thinking and saying that he has good character. I can handle this. He's, he's just patient with you. Like he respects you. You know, like you're not, you may not be ready to take it to the next level where, you know, you guys have to be intimate and he understands that he's not trying to rush you. He understands that things that are worth having does not come easy. He's moving at your pace. So just know if you find a man that's patient with you, he has good character, he respects you, sis, that is a husband. So please don't mistake it, baby, okay? The next sign is he supports you, okay? Like, and I'm not saying like you say you want to be a, a stripper or something. He like, oh yeah, babe, you, it's going to be good. I'm going to be your, your cup, you know, your, your number one customer. And in some instances... It may be that. Maybe a person do want to do all that. But I'm just saying. I'm, it's not me. But it's like whatever you want to do, he just supports you. You go, you know, you want to do this new venture. You want to go back to school. You want to start a YouTube channel. They're just very supportive of you. Whatever is going to make you a better woman, then they're going to support you. Because at the end of the day, they see you as their future. So why would they not want to support their future? Because at the end of the day, they're going to benefit off it because they see you there in their future. So if you find a man that just supports you and he pushes you and he who raised you, not only, you know, for the, the, the high moments, but when you're at those low moments, he's there. He, you know, if you're having a bad day or something bad happens, he just, he's just there. He's there for you. You can always depend on him. He supports you in whatever you do. Just know, sis, that is definitely a husband. Okay, the next one is, and this is the last one. And to be great, I don't think, I don't know if I even said this or not. But if I said it, then I'm going to say it again. He respects you. Okay, now in this day and age, that's what to find a man that's gonna really respect you, and I'm gonna drink on that. Okay, it's not class mixing cocktails today, you guys. Your girl trying to lose a good 15 pounds, and if I'm trying to use, lose some 15 pounds, I got the slow up on the cocktails. Okay, but just know next time your sister's gonna have a cocktail, it's gonna be cocktails again. But right now, it's class mixing water. Okay. Your sister is going to be a hot girl summer, as I keep saying. But he respects you. Like, you don't have to ever worry about him yelling at you or hitting you or, you know, if he feels like you did something, you know, that makes him upset, he's going to come to you with respect because you are his wife. And he doesn't want to add any toxicity into you guys' bubble. So, it's just like... You would never have to worry about him saying anything bad about you or just comment commenting under women's picture on Instagram or just like, it's just so many ways a man can, I think of that a man can disrespect you, but this man does not, he does not disrespect you. He just, he just respects you. Like when you guys, when he's out or y'all, you guys are out and y'all see women that he knows He's not going to be like all huggy and, oh, yeah, flirting. And even when, you, even when you're not there, he respects you behind your back. That's when you know that man is a husband material, okay? And, you, and then in your spirit, you would know if that man respects you. Like, you, you, you would just know it. Like, some of your friends may even see that man out. 
and they just have to say, you know, oh, he was good, baby. He didn't do, he didn't do nothing inappropriate. Baby, that's when you know you got a husband because it's hard to find a man that's going to respect you, not only in your face, but behind your back. He's not commenting, loving on pictures. He's not contacting his exes. He's, he's just, he just respects you because he knows at the end of the day, that's going to be my wife. And I respect that woman. He knows that woman. And if, when she becomes my wife, she's going to become, she's going to be number one. She's going to be before mama, auntie, sister. She's going to be my number one. And I need to respect that woman. I need to treat that woman as such because that's my future right there. And when I could just, I'm not a man, but I just know, like, you have that feeling where you know a man really sees you as his wife. And I had that, I had that feeling once where I really felt like I was dating this guy and he, I was his wife. And mind you, I've been somebody, well, yeah, I had that feeling once. Like, even with my ex-husband, I didn't have that feeling like that where I'm like, you know, where all those hustle material signs are there. But I had this feeling once when I was dating this guy and he met all the characteristics that I told you guys. I mean, all of them. And I messed it up. I'm like, I just totally messed it up. And looking back, I say, wow, like, that was my husband. Like, I feel like he was hustle material. I'm not sure if, the, if that was my husband because when you're dealing with... I'm not gonna, but I would say he was husband material. So definitely make sure, ladies, that when you see those signs, those are for sure signs that that man is husband material. And I can just tell from how that guy treated me that he seen me as his wife. And not only did he tell me that out of his mouth, his actions proved everything that those what I those signs I just gave you, his actions prove that. So just know, sis, you're out here, you're looking for your husband. Don't miss the signs dealing with the fuck boys and the knuckleheads, okay? Just make sure you pay attention. But that is it. If you guys have any questions or if you want to share your stories with me, your love stories about how you knew your husband, was your husband or more signs you can add to those signs that I just gave because trust me there I'm sure there're plenty more signs. I gave the ones that I know from experience. But um, once again, do not forget to show me some love. Follow me on all social media platforms. Um the homework for I don't I'm trying to see if I can give you guys homework. Homework is pay attention. Don't 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 you know miss out on your blessings trying to follow someone that does not see a future with you that's that's the that's the best homework and advice i can give you guys right now please don't miss out on your husband worrying up miss out on your future worrying about your past or someone that you know does not see you as their wife because as women we are good for that baby. We always want the bad boys, the popular boys, the boys that every other woman wants. Find that person that's like low key, hustle material. Somebody can be happy and settle down with ladies. Let's in 2020, let's not put the hustle, let's not put the bad boy or the the trash before we put the guys that are really hustling material. And just because, you know, that person, everybody's not perfect. But you may say, oh, he's too short. Oh, he needs to lose 10 pounds. Or he's not educated. He doesn't have the job I want him to have. He doesn't have the money I want him to have. But guess what? When you meet with your soulmate and you meet with your husband, you can elevate that person to whatever they need to be. And none of that stuff really even matters at all. Because in the end of the day, you have a blessed and happy relationship. And we're trying to be happy and blessed in 2020, right? All right. So, okay, guys. Um... Next time I'm going to have my cocktails, I'm done. Class is officially dismissed. <laughs>